Why did you say, yes, I'll perform? I said, we have to be seen. Somebody's got to see us. The Democrats aren't even coming. I've got to be one and I've got to be there. Uh, they've got to hear from us. they got to see what we look like, see what we think like, and see what we think. Because I was watching TV saying, I know he ain't talking to me. You didn't get a chance to talk to him. I got a chance to talk to the entire country, and I think he might be watching. You know who else might be watching is Spike Lee. I want you to first yeah. just address Spike Lee and Questlove because sure. of what they said in yeah. response to you performing. What would you say to them? Spike Lee, you were supposed to mentor me through this moment. I mean, you came before us. You taught us all of the art for change. This is what art for change is. I wore a Basquiat shirt, a skirt on the, the stage of the inaugural ball. Were you not paying attention? And Questlove, you know how much I love you, but I would have paid you to perform. That's my response to that. That's your response to that. That's it. That's it. If we're artists, if we're supposed to be the people who shake the world with our art, then we've got to stand on stages where we're uncomfortable and tell our truth. I was so excited to be able to show what we look like, who we are, and what we've got to say on that stage. Were you feeling nervous, though, over? We talked about, you know, Jennifer Holliday and other mm -hmm. people who received such hate yeah. that they pulled out. I mean, Barack Obama received such hate and he ran again. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to keep running just like he did. At the end of the day, everybody's going to get hate when they stand up for what they believe in. And black Twitter is not the entire country. Black Twitter is not the entire black America. So I refuse to make 6,000 comments the voice of black America. Did you want to meet Trump? What would you say to Trump if you were to meet him? This is what we look like. Uh, you know what? At the end of the day, he's got constituents. He's got uh, folks in the cabinet. He's got people n not there anymore, uh, as news just told us. Um, I want him to know what we have to say, uh, what we think. Uh, my goal with all of this is to bring the story of the black girl in Far Rockaway who's got a baby and is on welfare with the story of the white girl in South Dakota who's got a baby and is on welfare. I want everybody to see how much we have in common. And I want to bring those stories to the people that matter and see if we can make some change. So if I've got to, you know, coin a phrase, no political genius and create a TV show myself so that our voice can be heard as a whole, then I will. I don't mind being the gap. You can speak from experience now after all of this. So nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you so me. much. Happy Thank you here. so much, Chris.